We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Once again, during this Lenten journey, we ask the Lord to continue to strengthen us, and for the times that we have not always been faithful, to truly help us along the way. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself as their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within their hearts and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. 
No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from the least to the greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with both loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, He became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to the Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. Am I troubled now? Yet what should I say? 
Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder. But others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings for this week lead us up to the passion and death of Jesus. They help to prepare us for that which is to come and is going to come soon. It's hard to believe that this Lenten season is going to be coming to an end next week. We will be getting into those final days. And the question I have is, what did you decide to do for Lent? Were you able to stick to what you decided for the entire season? Are sacrifices too much for you? All of these are very real questions. Beginning next Sunday, we will enter into the mysteries of Holy Week. We will walk closely with the Lord during those days of sadness and agony. But we have to prepare for the journey. In the letter to the Hebrews, we hear that Jesus suffered and prayed with tears, and because of this, he was able to identify with us as we go through our daily lives. The cross was before him, and it is ever before us. We must work to make the difficulties of our lives the crosses that we must bear. And we have to make them more bearable for those who have true difficulties. Oftentimes we say that we have difficulties, but they're not really difficulties. They're just hard things that we just don't want to do. But there are real difficulties in our world today. The evil one is always looking for inroads. It's amazing. Why? Because of our neglect for one another. We have to work to loosen that grip and thus accompany Jesus on this journey. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, Christ is his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now with faith and confidence, we bring our prayers and petitions to our God who loves us, cares for us, and continues to lead us along the way. For the Church that we may die to whatever separates us from the covenant that connects us to the Lord, so that we may produce fruit for the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to conflict, violence, and division in our world, may the light of Christ shine upon the hearts of all people, transforming hatred into love and fostering reconciliation and unity among both nations and communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those dedicated to faith formation and for those with whom they share the treasures of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our heart of the nation parish family, may they experience God's healing, mercy, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they find eternal rest in the presence of God, and may their loved ones be comforted by the hope of the resurrection and the promise of reunion with them in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation Parish members, including those joining us from the state of New Jersey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all goodness, Lord of all peace, we ask you to send your peace upon us as you hear our prayers. Grant them in your good time through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that these, our gifts, may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Hear us, almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all who serve and minister in your name. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Dominic, St. Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. And a special peace to all of those watching us from home.
Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.